Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do Jeep stuff. Um, I don't think I've actually officially given you kind of an introduction or walk around on my 1977 CJ5. Um, so let me show you what we're working with here. Um, this one was actually used to be my grandfather's Jeep. Um, and fortunately he passed, so I got it. Uh, like I said, 77 um, CJ5. Quite original, actually. Um, a little bit of rust here and there, um, but still pretty solid. Um, this is one of the vehicles that you know it's never going to go anywhere. We've had some good times with this Jeep. Um, pretty original, like I said. Still has the original winch up here. Works great. Um, let's see. I've replaced the fuel tank in it. Um, I think this is its second soft top. Um, a year or two ago I blew out the hub, so I've got some aftermarket worn hubs on here. Uh, other than that, just basic maintenance, tires, uh, fuel pump, stuff like that. Still has the shag carpet inside. Oh no, I um, What do you think? A shag. Is this your favorite car? A shag. Mm-hmm. Three-speed manual. Messy, um, messy. A track player works. Everything, I mean, everything in here works really. Um, he's hot. It's a fun Jeep. F a Jeep. Do you like the Jeep? Uh, I don't know. Let me show you what's under the hood up here. Might need to sit you down for a second. All right, up front we've got 304 V8 made by AMC, American Motors Company. Um, like I said, again, just basic stuff, Car uh, batteries, coil, fuel pump. Uh, I think the radiator is replaced at one point, but I mean, really, it's it's pretty original. There's no lift kit, no, no nothing like that. Uh, so plan today, there is uh, a tick going on. I think um, we've got some rocker tick. I, I thought it was this first cylinder here, so I replaced it a couple months ago, or I, I uh, replaced a rocker and everything a couple months ago, and it partially got rid of it, but I think the... Uh, Number three cylinder, second one back is also ticking a little bit. So I got new rocker arm, um, why not? We'll go ahead and pop this cover off really quick. Uh, valve cover off, get that replaced. Um, I'll show you what it looks like right here. Repla replace these guys on I guess I'm not sure how AMC labels it, but if this was a Chevy, it's the number three cylinder, second one back here. Um, get these guys replaced, and then we're planning on going out, going out and having some fun with this. We'll head out to the beach, see what trouble we can get in out there. Then there's also a uh, an abandoned train tunnel um, that we'll try and find and uh, see if we can't fit this Jeep through that train tunnel. Uh, so yeah, it should be a fun day. All right, valve covers off. Here's what we're working with. Um, you can see how I already placed uh, everything here on the first cylinder. We'll go ahead and this is where uh, the rest of the ticking's coming from. I guess it's a fairly common thing on these these 304s. After I don't know, they just they get loose and and ticky after time. So uh, pretty straightforward. Just two bolts, pop it out. New one goes in. Um, I won't bore you with the details. Uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. All right, new stuff seen. I'll get this uh, valve cover put back on, and looks like I get a scrape all that yummy cork garbage gasket off the edge of this thing and clean that up. Valve cover on, and we'll get out of here. All right, everything's buttoned up in here. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and fire it up, make sure it's nice and smooth. Make sure I got all the plug wires back on where they're supposed to go. And uh, see if we're ready to get out of here. Might just take just a second to fire up. It's cold outside and it's been sitting for, oh, about a week or so now. Uh, here we go. Yeah. All right. She sounds nice and smooth.
I think it's time to get everybody loaded up. All right, made it to the tunnel. Kind of a cool little place. I guess there used to be a, a train track that came through here and they tore the tracks out and now you can come do a little exploring. What do you think? It's pretty good sized actually. This is the entrance to the tunnel. Um, pretty cool you can see it was just a train track. It was kind of the mountain here and goes out into the west desert here in Utah. Kind of some neat history out here. Uh, out the desert out here. There's a lot of old mining and uh, a lot of old settlements out here that just aren't around anymore. You can still crawl through them and find some cool stuff.
had to stop by this neat old gas station out here in the middle of nowhere. Um, they got some cool stuff around here. Um, I think, if I remember right, they do uh, concerts here in the summertime too, but makes for a good photo op. Well, we made it to the beach, tried to make it for sunset, but I think we just missed it. What do you think? This is out here, this lake's called uh, Utah Lake. Um, it's a pretty good sized lake actually. Um, this is a fun place we have to come and hang out and bring the Jeep. I don't know how far, I don't know how frozen this is. Oh yeah. We could even drive the Jeep out on here. But anyways, I think that's what we'll call this one. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, this one, I know this one was a little different than what you guys thought. Um, break away from just the mechanical side of things. Get out and have a good time. Thanks for, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.